What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a great day because I am actually having a good day. I'm going to be going to the mall and uh, doing some shopping stuff. So yeah, happy Mother's Day if you if, you, if there's mobs watching my videos, which probably is going to be unlikely. Anyway, so I got bored of the Nintendo 2DS. I also got bored of the Nintendo Switch. And I'm thinking to myself, there are some games that I love on my smartphone, but then I hate touch controls. So really, it's like a no-no when it comes to playing on your smartphone. But then I stumbled upon this guy on eBay. I'm like, what the heck? This thing is even like $10 right here. It's super cheap. Like it comes with free shipping in the United States. I'm not sure if it's uh, like free shipping on your country. I'm not going to link anything in the description below. I'm just going to tell you guys, look up Bluetooth 3.0, Bluetooth 4.0 controllers on eBay and find whichever option is going to be cheaper. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different options out there for 10 bucks. But in general, if you find this kind of specific design, pick it up because we're making a review about it. And if you guys, you know, like what, what I do in this video, you can just go in and buy it and stuff. The Nintendo Switch is just too big. You won't fit it in your pocket. You obviously won't fit this in your pocket, but at least it's more comfortable to get around. And also, it's durable and very cheap. It doesn't break if you drop it. Oh, wait, no, no. Looks like we actually did crack it right here. The sheer joy of remembering Red Form and telling me to stop being a dumbass. Well, apparently after 30 minutes of playing around with the controller and getting the plastic pieces out, we, we managed to fix it, so it's, you know, good to go. You could even hook up this controller to the big screen TV and it's basically gonna play like a beast. Not the controller itself, I mean, that sounds ridiculous. I mean, like, hook up the controller to the smartphone via Bluetooth and then your smartphone to the big TV screen and just play from your couch because this controller completely enables it. I mean, who would play on the touch controls? Because that shit's annoying. Currently, I'm saying a bunch of good stuff about this controller and there's no negative negativity in this video because, well, how could I be negative? It's $10. If it feels more expensive than $10, then I could possibly be a little bit negative about it. But the fact that, like, for 10 bucks, can you find something that's more premium than this? Probably. There's a different versions of this controller. Like, it doesn't matter. But the fact that it could just withstand a drop, I could just, like, woo! Okay, I actually hit something there that was very important. Just imagine there's gonna be like, in, a, in the next hundred years, there's gonna be actual human robots walking around and stuff, doing our work for us. We're gonna be really lazy people, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna have to wrap up this video. If you liked my video, go ahead and smack that like button. If you did not like this video, go ahead and smack that dislike. And if you wanna subscribe to the channel to see more future videos and uh, more awesomeness with uh, Dan, then yeah, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next week. Next up on Gaming Tech Review, if you haven't been already entertained, there's going to be some video game physics that are going to be coming up. I was climbing a mountain and I actually got stuck and then I was screaming for help. It was actually the whole, like the whole trip was just very embarrassing. My cousin was kind of laughing at me. But anyways, I'll see you next week.